And so these are the apps that come with the iPad. You might think you need to go on the App Store and buy a whole bunch of apps, but there's actually about a dozen or so that come on here and they're, it's pretty useful. Uh, the major ones are the calendar, which allows you to kind of organize your social calendar and actually sync it with your phone or any other digital device you might be using. There's the App Store, which we're gonna hop on in a second so you can actually get new apps. There's uh, iTunes, which is where you can buy music, which we'll get into in a later chapter. And there's Maps, which allows you to get from point A to point B. It's based on Google Maps, so it's pretty cool and very, very powerful. Um, along the bottom, you have Photos, Safari, which gets you online, and your email. Always cool stuff. So before we go any further, let's hop into the App Store and see what's happening. Just tap on App Store, and you'll go in and see the highlighted stuff. Uh, that Apple's talking about. So you can see like the game of the day, the app of the day or what have you. Um, you can see like news readers. I mean, you guys are probably familiar with apps. There's almost about 300,000 uh, right now, which is pretty insane. Uh, next to these different apps, you'll see the ratings, which are done by people like us and people like you. And then you actually will go ahead and see the price right next to it, which is $1.99, $10.99. Some of them are free, which is great. If you're curious about one, you can just tap it and I'll do the quick slide and I'll go ahead and show you all about it. You know, details about it, the ratings, uh, you can go like this, you can see the different pictures of it. Um, and then if you're interested in other parts of the App Store, you can go to the Featured section, which is where we were before. You can go to the Genius section, where Apple actually recommends different apps based on the ones you purchased before. Uh, you can go to the top top charts one, which is kind of like the billboard charts, where it's the most important ones right now. You can do categories if you're looking for a specific type of app. And finally, you have updates, where when there's software that needs to be updated, just like any other computer, it'll automatically update it for you.